Welcome to Storage Drawers. This mod is all about storing items in bulk and automating the sorting of your inventory. So how do we get started? Let's begin with the new main blocks of this mod called drawers. These drawers are your alternatives to using chests and come in many different varieties. There are 1x1 drawers, which hold 32 stacks of one item, 1x2 drawers, which hold 16 stacks of two different items, and 2x2 two two drawers, which hold 8 stacks of four different items. You can also craft half drawers, which just like the name states, hold half the amount for each drawer. As an example, there's a half 1x1 one one drawer, which holds 16 stacks, as opposed to 32 stacks of its counterpart. Every one of these drawers comes in a variety of wood variants, and are compatible with other mods for more design choices. So how do we store items inside of the drawers? You can right-click to insert a full stack into a drawer, such as anywhere between 1 and 64 cobblestone. You can double right-click to insert all compatible stacks of an item into a drawer, such as 4 stacks of cobblestone. And lastly, you can left-click to remove a single item, or shift left-click to remove a full stack from the drawer. This mod also adds 3 different keys to help with automation, lag, and other things for your drawers. The first is the drawer key, which allows you to lock and unlock drawers. When locked, it maintains its current item even if the last item is removed. This will prevent pipes and other transport systems from refilling that drawer with other items. The second is the quantify key, which will show or hide stored quantity labels so you can see how many items you have. Last is the concealment key, which will show or hide item labels. This is super useful if you're starting to lag when placing multiple drawers as you can hide some of the entities that you don't want to see. There are also several upgrades you can use to upgrade your drawers. This includes storage upgrades that will further boost the amount stored inside of a drawer. As you can see, you can craft 5 different upgrades which can increase the storage from 2 times all the way to 32 times. You can also craft a storage downgrade that will reduce storage down to a single stack. It's also worth noting that you can craft any upgrade and apply it to any non-upgraded drawer. You don't have to craft them in a sequence. The void upgrade destroys excess items after a container is full, which is useful if you have auto farms feeding into your system. The conversion upgrade is useful in larger mod packs with duplicate items. So for example, if we have multiple types of copper ingots from different mods, we can use the conversion upgrade to auto convert all copper ingots to the one that we have locked inside of a drawer. The redstone upgrade emits a signal for total storage, which might be a little bit confusing, but if we set a drawer to have a storage downgrade with a max of now 64 cobblestone, and then slowly take out items, you can see the redstone signal slowly decrease. This can be used to set up a redstone signal to go off when the storage is full, or even some lamps to show how full a container is. The min redstone upgrade is the same as the redstone upgrade, except out of an entire drawer it will only be looking at the item that has the least amount. The max redstone upgrade is just the opposite, where it will emit a redstone signal based on the item that has the highest amount. The illumination upgrade simply lights up drawer labels in the dark, and the fill upgrade will show how full a storage is by placing a bar below the item. This mod also adds some special blocks to really help with automation and add some uniqueness to this storage mod. One of which is compacting drawers, which are a special drawer that will auto-convert compressible items. As an example, you can make a compacting drawer that is set to gold blocks, gold ingots, and gold nuggets, and this will make it so when you place 9 gold ingots into the system, you could either pull out 1 gold block, 9 gold ingots, or 81 gold nuggets, and the drawer itself would convert it to what you need. There's also the drawer controller, which will search for any connected drawer within 12 blocks, and then expose all of those drawers as a large combined inventory. So let's say you hook up a single pipe that pumps in a variety of items, those items will be automatically placed inside of the correct drawers. You could also pull out items through that pipe and it would pull from the correct drawers as well. Drawer controllers also work as a deposit only block. This means if you right click a block with an item, it will deposit that item in the correct drawer, or if you double right click, it will sort your entire inventory that already exists in the drawers into the system. Controller slaves act as an extension of the drawer controller, allowing you to expose more faces for attaching machines, pipes, or anything from other mods. Controller slaves are also better for performance than using multiple drawer controllers. The last item is the trim. Trim blocks are decorative wood panel blocks similar to wooden drawers, but can also be used to connect drawer blocks within a controller network. There you go, that's storage drawers. Thank you guys so much for watching, and feel free to check out the video on the screen now that is 10 mods you should add to your world, including one that adds planes.